Now one one dude with a shoe bomb, we gotta take off our shoes at the airport. That's not the next terrorist attack that's happening. No, no, nope. But we not we not. I, I, I've always felt that way too with the water. Like you can't you can't bring the water on the plane, so you have to throw it away in the trash. It's like, well, if it's a bomb, you just no no. It's just a bomb in the oh, trash. Oh, please don't get me started on that. So I don't know if you was in the green room the other day when Tony and Joe was giving me shit about checking bags. I was. Right. Yes, yeah. Were you there? Okay, so what I didn't get to say because I wasn't I wasn't in the right mind state for criticism. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? With the argument just everyone context. Brian was talking to Joe and Tony about how when he travels, he likes to check a big bag. You know, and then right. they were, their argument was that's insane. You yeah, should just have a backpack that's and carry on. Very okay, stupid. And but, I'm kind of on their side. Well, I was on their side as well. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, but let me but let me explain my point. See, we we're coming from the same place. Y'all just being uh narcissistic about it. <laughs> because he, here's why. Y'all don't want to y'all don't want to check a bag because why? Because waiting at the baggage check is frustrating. Yes. Right. Okay, for me, the most frustrating part of the travel is not waiting for my bag, it's getting off the plane. Getting on and off the plane. That's where I'm at my uh, and so and so to avoid all that cuz I can't tell you cuz I here's another thing. I like to get on the plane last. I, first class ticket, I get on plane last cuz I already know I'm I'm sitting up front and ain't gonna, I wait till everybody get on. I can chill in the lounge a little longer. I can stretch a little long, you know what I mean? All okay. this. So I like to get on the plane after everybody. And I can't tell you how many times I've got on the plane and some fuck has taken the first class, they've taken the thing over my seat. Mm -hmm. Yes. So then, so now that I got to be the scary part about getting on the plane right, last. Right. So now I got to walk to, I got to walk through the plane and find some way to put my shit up. My, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and then when it's time to get off the plane, I got to wait for all these motherfuckers to get off the plane so I can go back and grab my shit. Okay, so that's one reason. The second reason I check a bag is because it's because I don't have to worry about the size of my liquids and all of that other shit. So, so, so the last time I checked the bag, I'll never forget. The last time I checked the bag, it was four years ago, maybe more, maybe five you, years sorry, ago. Sorry, had a carry on. You mean? Last time you checked the oh, bag. Oh, right, 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 right. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. La la last time, last time that I didn't check the bag. Yeah. Last mm -hmm. time I just took a carry on. I, I was at, I was it was when I was in the Big Sky Comedy Festival. Mm -hmm. I remember this. Yeah, Probably. and I had a and I had a I had a layover. I had a I had a connection in Seattle that got delayed because Seattle sucks, and and I ended up having to sleep in the airport overnight. And I had to be in. The, I had to, I had to, the next flight out <laughs> was was the next day. Yeah, the next right. afternoon actually. Damn. So I had to wait all. I had to wait like sixteen hours in the airport. Brutal. Whatever. So I'm going in and out the airport, right? I'm going out to smoke. I'm going out, you know, just to chill, get some fresh air, whatever. So I'm, I probably go in and out the airport like four or five times. Then the morning shift come. The morning shift come. I'm out the airport. I'm smoking. I come back in. The TSA guy, he giving me shit. He done found my shea butter. Okay? And I, and I bring this up because it speaks to what you were saying. Okay? So the rule is... If you freeze your water, you can take it. You can take it through. Right. If it's frozen, you can take it in. Right. That's crazy. I, uh, right. So I'm coming through. I got the shea butter. I got the damn. I got the damn. Um, what's the shit when you? What is it when you when you make sure that it's not slaves? When you buy stuff, what they call it? Organic? No. <laughs> fair trade. Fair, fair trade. Okay. So I'm taking. I'm taking. <laughs> So I got the fair trade, pure shit, no additive, straight from the And if you ever had shea butter, like pure, real shea butter, it's solid as a brick. Like you gotta basically put fire to it to melt it. You gotta like, right? Yeah, get it in there, right? So I'm t I'm taking this through, and and this is also the first black person that I, that I, that I got, right? So so I'm because I've I've gone in and out five or six times over the last sixteen hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So morning shift though, I get the, I get a black man. And this is my second time going through for the morning shift. But when I'm coming back through, I get a black man, and, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you can't take this." And I'm like, "What you talking about?" I was, he said, "Yeah, you, you can't take this." I was like, "Um, I was like, I've come in and out of here so many times with that. What you, what you mean? I've no one's ever taken my shea butter." He's like, "Yeah, man, but look, rules is the rules. You can't have butter." And I was like, it, "It's not butter." It's shea butter, and it's solid. And you know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, well, look, man, you can call the supervisor or whatever. I was like, yeah, call the supervisor. Supervisor come over there. It's a white man. And he goes, hey, man, he wants to know if he could take butter through the thing. And the dude just goes, yeah, you can't take butter through and walked away. I was like, nigga, you. So 
because mm. what he just did with the with the what he just did <laughs> was he used the cultural ignorance of his supervisor oh, to I fuck you over. To yeah. fuck me over because oh, he he, wa- he wanted this high quality fair trade shea butter. Yes. Yeah, and and if I was see, and if I wasn't. If I hadn't been awake in the airport for 16 hours, I would have just been like, well, I want to throw it away then. But I wasn't, my, I didn't have all my faculties enough to, for my pettiness to be turned up. Because uh-huh. so, he basically robbed you. He basically yeah. robbed me of this high quality shea butter and he knew exactly what the fuck he was doing. He, he acted like you, I couldn't take it through because it was butter in the name. Yeah. Right. But nigga, you know shea butter ain't butter, you yeah. stupid bitch. And then he played you with the guy with the exactly. With the boss. He played exactly. He played me with he the boss you. to the point the boss only gave it two seconds. Oh, butter? Hell no. Walk I get it from the boss perspective. He's like, right. I, he's like, I, I, I'm yeah. I'm assuming it's just another guy trying to bring food. Right. right. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's butter in it. Are y'all stupid? No. And I will never forget. I will never forget your face if the if I ever see you again. If I'm, because listen, I've, I'm, I'm, I, as I've grown older, I've become more patient about stuff like this. But please believe, if you know, I'm not gonna actively pursue it. Yeah. But if I'm ever in a position to fuck you over, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Oh what airport was this again? Huh? What airport Seattle? was this? This Seattle. was this was Seattle Airport. Seattle airport. Uh, TSA, yeah. 20, 20, 2019. 2019. Wow. No, Damn. maybe it was. I thought it was before that. It's definitely LA. We were living in LA, but maybe it was 2018. Yeah. Damn. Oh my goodness, Brian. That's so funny that you're so good at revenge. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good at it. I'm a, people, a lot of people are good at it. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. Oh, that's because I'm tortured. I'm tortured by things that don't make sense. It's yeah. like, or or people thinking they can fuck with you because you ain't got no power. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get that nigga. <laughs> yeah, tell me, tell me. It's going if he 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 not gonna ever see it coming. I I remember. I, I tell you, I could draw that nigga from memory. I could draw his. Oh. I could draw his face from scratch, <laughs> straight up. Because 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 also keep in mind, uh, you going big skies in Billings, Montana. Right. I don't know if y'all understand that. You know, one Billings, Montana. That's up in the mountains. It's dry shit up there. So if you black, you got an extra extra moisturize, and it's winter time. So it's cold, dry, and we in the mountains. And I'm and I'm and this is this is your you're performing in front of industry and all of this. Mm-hmm. And you ashy. He left me ashy up there. Cause, Cause guess cause guess what they don't got at the CVS in, in Billings, Montana. <laughs> <laughs> guess what they don't got? An ethnic section. <laughs> You know how you go? You go to any major city. It's an ethnic section. You are gonna see a little cocoa because I'll do. I'll I'll settle for cocoa butter. Right. Oh my god! Right, right. You, you know what I'm saying? But 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 all this other shit, all that other shit, I, it ain't it ain't it ain't for me. <laughs> so 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 I'm you know, I'll never forget that he, because that dude didn't he didn't understand the importance of what I was doing at the time. He just didn't give a fuck. Right. Man, bro, he basically robbed you at gunpoint. I'm not even kidding. I'm thinking yeah. about the story. Right. He robbed you. Yeah, straight up, straight up. And then tried to ruin your career. It's straight up at their discretion. <laughs> You're not allowed. You can't. Because here's the thing. It's all type of things you can do about it if you have time. Mm. So that's why the, the and power. The, yeah, all the, all the ways for you to do something about the TSA fucking with you is gonna take time. And they know goddamn well that everybody at the airport ain't got time. That's Nothing. so they the if they want to fuck you, they'll fuck you. Yeah. And if you get some fucking idiot. You're completely at their mercy. That's why I got the military. If you, if you, the worst thing you could possibly happen to you in the military is for some fucking idiot to be in charge of you. For, if I'd rather have a tyrant than a fucking dumbass be in charge of you. Wow, great point. Yeah, 